Back in session in the Wabash Valley and as kids are headed back to some wonderfully decorated classrooms, you may not be aware of just how much it costs the teachers to get it that way. News since Caitlin Hunt spoke with one local teacher about how inflation is infecting and affecting the classrooms. It takes a lot to build the perfect classroom. You need basic supplies, books and toys. And a lot of times this comes out of cost for teachers. Katie Urich is a kindergarten special education teacher at Memorial Elementary in Paris, Illinois. It's her third year teaching and she loves her students. My favorite part about teaching kindergarten is um, how silly they are and the relationships you can build with them. But what she doesn't love is the cost of building her classroom. Urich says she often finds herself purchasing several items at the beginning of every school year. We have to buy extra school supplies, books. Um, in kindergarten, we have toys in our classroom, furniture. Um, you know, if you want flexible seating in your classroom, we have to buy that. Yurik says this typically costs her $400 a year, and she says some of her fellow teachers have spent up to $2,000 on their classrooms. All that is coming straight from their own pockets. Keith Gamble is the president of the Indiana State Teachers Association. He says this is a common problem for teachers and it puts even more stress on them. Gamble says this is worrisome for teachers because this is a period of time when salaries aren't increasing, but inflation is raising the price of living. But ISTA has a solution. He says the Indiana State Teachers Association supports the idea of fully funded schools, which could help solve this problem. That would mean that the schools would have the necessary resources so that educators aren't forced to go out and purchase additional materials on their own. But until that is possible, educators are helping each other. Gamble says ISTA offers a program called Resupply, where teachers can offer their old classroom supplies for younger teachers. York says she was able to receive some similar help through her school district, but she hopes there will be more help to lighten her load and other teachers' loads. She says parents simply buying these items on a school supply list can be a monumental help. And while spending an extra $400 may be a lot to spend for your work, York says it's simply just a part of the job. I think a really important part of teaching is building your classroom environment, um, you know, and that building a welcoming environment that the kids want to be in definitely does cost a lot of money. And both York and Gamble encourage parents to help out when they can. Donate a book or extra supplies if you have the resources. In Paris, Illinois, Caitlin Hunt, News 10.